Hey, this is Joe with Cut a Squad Lawn Care. I'm doing a voiceover to wrap up the year. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm doing a, um, this is a mold, well, not, well, a mold, well, a bag leaf job, basically. So I just really, I just put the bag on the mower, run over the yard, blow all the leaves into the yard from the driveway and the, uh, what is it? The, the driveway and the road, blow all the leaves into the yard. Put the bag on the mower, run over the, uh, you know, the grass like I'm mowing, basically, and it gets the leaves up. That's usually what I do because it's fast and it's it's cheaper for the customer, you know. If I got to get out there and rake and all that, if I got to really put a lot of raking effort into your property. And also, if you want the leaves out of your flower beds and stuff like that. You know that's just gonna be more money you know you talking 150 and up but some people they just want what's in their yard picked up so that's what i do so that price can be dropped you know 80 dollars, something like that 90 dollars, you know more cheaper so a lot of people go with that so that's why you see me doing what i'm doing right now and i just leave that bad curve side anyway this is the wrapped up the year it was a good fun crazy year um I had fun. I made a lot of money. Most money I ever made in my life. Um, you know, like I say, I got, I actually got up to, I, uh, in one month, one month I made the most money I ever made in my life. I got up to eight, eight, eight something. You know, eight, you know, I ain't, you know, might be tax people watching. <laughs> but I got up to eight something because I did a, a, a mulch uh, job. So that put me at over eight something and then but you that's that's just what I made. You know, it took money to make it took a lot of money to make that. So the profit was around like six something for the month. But that's not bad. So you can make a lot of money in this mowing. You just got to know what you're doing. But don't do this for no money, though, because you still at the end of the day is really about your happiness and about your peace. Um. So that was that was a good month. I think that was uh, July. Yeah, that was probably in July. Um, that was so. That's the good things. Um, made some good money. You know, gave a lot of money away. Like I always do. I always got to help people. Gave a lot of money away. I wish I could show y'all my cash app. I probably didn't gave away. Probably to you know people like friends family and people birthdays and stuff i didn't gave away about three thousand dollars <laughs> you know people always come to joe joe got the business he got the money so you do got to look out for stuff like that so that's a that i would say that's a bad thing you know but you know god got me um so the good thing yeah like i said good things made a lot of money uh got you know some mores echo sent me a free weed eater that was dope um a lot of good customers a lot of good customers a lot of good christmas gifts this year i think i got christmas gifts from maybe like uh six people so six people out of sissy something gave me christmas gifts i think last year was only four this year was like two more people one lady gave me you know look she gave me ten dollars one lady gave me you know you know, you know, a Chris, a crispy blue bill. Y'all should know what that is. A crispy blue bill. No, actually, two people gave me two crispy blue bills. One lady gave me a shampoo kit. You know, uh, one lady gave me a T-shirt, and it's got like lawnmowers up there. Like, lot, 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 I actually like all my Christmas gifts. I can't complain, even if it was ten dollars. The shampoo kit. I like everything I got. Uh, more than my, cause my family didn't, I didn't get not nothing from none of my family members this year. Nobody gave me anything. Um, uh, so even customers gave me, um, uh, some Christmas gifts, which my own family didn't give me anything. So very sad, but it's whatever. Uh, so the bad things this year was, you know, I didn't get paid from two customers, two customers jit me out of $45 one was actually in a green pile app in the green pile app um some i guess they had a gift card hook a gift card or some kind of card where they put money up there or something and you know the green pile app will automatically charge after i think three days and they kept charging and they was they won't pay and it didn't it didn't it never went through so i never got paid that money from that house 
And this is my own kind. It's always your own kind, you know. You know what I mean by that. The color, you know, black person, of course. Huh. <laughs> and a lady uh jit me out of $45 too because she said her grass didn't need to be cut. Now, when I went there, it didn't need to be cut, but she didn't want to pay. She said it really she no, she said it really didn't need mowing. But when I went there and I looked at it, it did need to be cut, but she didn't want to pay, so you know, I never go back there again. I don't got time. I you know, you know, it's four I I spend four hundred dollars in gas a week, you know. I don't got time for, you know, people playing these little games. So it's I just move on. I just let God sometimes I just let God God to handle it. I ain't gotta worry about it. So I would never go there again. Then she actually hit me up to come cut her yard. I think what, like two months later or a month and a half later, she hit me up. Are you available for some yard yard mowing? No, I'm not. I never reply back. I don't got time and I'm never going back. I can't even go. Even if you pay me and you'd be like, I'll pay you for that. Just come. I'm not going. I'm sorry. I can't go. Uh, the other worst thing was my pro line broke down, had to spend eight hundred and ninety dollars on that. Uh, brought a backup mower for almost three thousand dollars. Uh, my trailer broke. Y'all remember my trailer broke? Brand new trailer, thirteen hundred dollars. That broke. Got my dad to weld it, and you know he was cussing me out as I was helping him weld it. And you know I'm, I'm a grown man. You ain't you not about to cuss at me. You know I had to tell him he didn't like it, and all hell. I'm sorry, but all hell broke loose after that. You know, you know, I was living, he don't live in his home. So his home, nobody lives there. I lived there. I gave him some money a month. You know, he, you know, I lived, I grew up in that house 20 years ago. You know, he'd been having that house for 20 years. It's been vacant for 10 years. He don't live there. So I, I moved in there because my equipment and stuff was going to be there. Moved in there and you know, I paid, you know, the, you know, the, the mortgage bill and utilities, you know, and he's in, oh man, it still was hell. It still was hell. You could come around there, talk, talk, S to you, this, that, and the third. Uh, it just was bad. It was just bad. You know, threaten me, you know, threaten, you know, getting your face cuss at you. And I would hate, you know, for it to go left. So your peace and stuff like that is everything in the video ended. But I'm still talking. I'll put some clip right here. Um, so he did all that. It just was it was a wild. It was a wild time this year. Um, you know, I, I thought I was going to be homeless because he threatened, he threatened me and all that. You know, I don't care where you go. You know, go to your mom's house. Go to a homeless shelter for all I give a D and all that. It just was a real wild year. But it's okay. Like I said, everything is okay because, you know, how you treat people goes a long way. I don't even argue with people. I don't, I don't argue with people. I just, you know, I, I don't do none of that. I don't argue. You, you know, what? it's whatever. But so that was another bad that was another bad thing that that was pretty bad uh i just thought i was gonna be homeless for one point in time i you know looking for a place looking for a place because i gotta get out of there you know because it's only gonna get worse you know don't nobody need to end up putting their hands on nobody or nothing like that this is just something i went through this is my long care journey this is my long care long care journey yeah this is my long care journey you see what I go through. Everything is not peaches and cream. A lot of personal stuff. A lot of equipment, you know, breaking down. Is, you know, you that's why you have to watch every, yep, you have to watch beast. every episode that I, I, every episode. You have to watch every video I do because it's always something new, something crazy going on. It's always something. So you have to watch every video. But yeah, it's been a good year. Um, next year, um, plans for next year is probably i might be getting a ramp rack i don't know uh, i might get a four raptor <laughs> next year too i don't know yet it's a lot of plans because i'm kind of getting sick of driving the truck with the trailer around uh, i might hire a, a worker n next year too i don't know yet i got a lot of ideas i'm gonna talk about it in another video but yeah this is joe and i'm out